All right, this is John Cola with OKRaw.com. We're here actually at my local health food supermarket, and we're gonna make a video today about, you know, how do I shop? As a raw foodist, how do I shop? What do I buy? Well, let me tell you, the first step is always to uh, check the sale paper. So right by the door here, they have the sale paper, and you wanna check out the sale paper, and you know, we're not gonna look at the T-bone steaks here, but we like to look at the produce. So they have a Chilean grapes, not organic, and we're not gonna buy those. But on the back page, they usually have some organic things on sale. So let's see, they have grapefruit on sale, 79 cents each, dino kale, 129 each, Murkot tangerines, 349 a bag, and organic bunch carrot. So, oh, and organic Fuji apple. So let's go into the produce section. Knowing that they have those on sale, I'll usually try to buy some of the sale items. And, uh, you know, I'm going to scope out what else they have for a good price. I'm definitely price conscious and shop usually and buy a lot of what's on sale and a little of anything else unless I really need it. So let's check out the produce section. So this is a pretty good produce section here. We are in California so they have a lot of things growing. Uh, here in California a lot of things for sale this market. It's a pretty progressive market here. Uh, this is the large uh, non-organic section down here first and we're going to go down to the uh, organic section down here. Some of the non-organic things I'll get sometimes are the avocados. Oh and some of these things actually some of the tropical fruits sometimes so these guys are really good white sapotes the four to nine each that's a lot of money and the chermoyas and or passion fruits sometimes also get the mexican papayas not the hawaiian papayas they can be genetically modified oh and these pineapples they look really ripe pineapples you want to buy when they're yellow not green wow that's pretty expensive but those are really ripe maybe i'll get one because they look really ripe and I always want to smell your pineapples, and they smell really good, but they're quite expensive. Let's uh, go down over here further. And yeah, they have a lot of locally grown things at, at, the supermar at this supermarket here, which is really nice. And they have this cool artwork here on the, uh, on the top. This is the organic section now we're getting into. These are all the apples, uh, Fuji apples here. I'll probably get some of those just because they're on sale for $1.29 a pound. All the other apples, as you can see, are... 269, 249, 279. So that's half off. So, do I really care what kind of apple I eat? No, I'll eat the ones on sale because next week, you know, the Goldens or the Galas will be on sale. So, by eating what's on sale, you'll kind of get diet rotation. Also, if I didn't grow my own greens, I'd probably get some uh, Dino Kale 129 a bunch. That's actually really inexpensive. Also, the uh, and besides the weekly specials here, they'll have the in store specials. So, the Mixed chart is one two forty nine a bunch, which is a pretty good, well, not too good of a price. Oh, and the celery one eighty nine. I always like to buy the celery for juicing, specifically, also eating you know, in in lieu of a salad. Organic bunch carrots. It's always better to buy your carrots, you know, with the tops on. They're much fresher than without the tops, because they have the tops on. They they expire pretty fast, and if the tops are cut off, they uh, don't go bad. They go bad. They don't go bad as quick, so they're probably older. Here's another thing that everybody should be eating in my opinion is uh, nope not this stuff here this is the um, horseradish or not this this is gobo but this one in the middle this is turmeric and so we want to be eating a lot of fresh turmeric it's really good for us. On well, these I often talk about in some of my videos the heirloom carrots so they have a uh, you know yellow carrots and purple carrots Oftentimes, they also have red carrots, and these are much less hybridized than some of the orange carrots, and they're less sweet, and I encourage people to eat those. We want to be eating things with lots of color. I'm really drawn to this uh, purple cabbage over here. Cucumbers are also on sale today, $2.49 a pound. That's pretty good. Uh, rounds out this uh, the vegetable section here. Let's uh, check out the fruits. Or some of the other, yeah, some of the fruits here. So, murkot, tangerines, let's see, avocados, $1.39 each. That's a good price here. Oh, and I'm probably going to get these murkot tangerines here. Uh, let's see here. Oh, two pounds for $3.49. General price, I like to buy tangerines if they're under two a pound. So, uh, that'll make it. And the grapefruits, $79 each. If they're by the each, you don't want to weigh them out and definitely get things that are quite heavy. But my favorite, where are they? 
the honey tangerines. And if you haven't hide, tried honey tangerines, you gotta get them. Even though these are $2.99 a pound, um, I'll still buy them because these are my favorite. So money is no object when it's something I really want. Well, let's see, D'Angie pears, $1.59. I'm really spoiled and I don't usually buy pears unless they're from the farmer's market and really ripe. Or sometimes they are a little bit riper. You could tell the really green ones are not too ripe, but the ones that are a little bit more yellow are more ripe. So I can't bypass a deal, and organic navel oranges are 79 a pound. That's a really good price. Now when picking your oranges, you want to go around and you want to get the darkest ones. You know, some of the lighter ones, this is a light one, not quite as ripe. And uh, so here's one that's uh, nice and dark, much, much riper. You kind of see the difference in the color there. So yeah, I'm gonna get, get some uh, navel oranges here. All right, now I'm gonna purchase some Fuji apples, 129 a pound. And uh, let's, you always wanna buy firm apples. Usually the apples I buy is for juicing because I like to only buy apples and eat them fresh uh, from the farmer's market. Otherwise, these don't actually taste quite as good for me. So I always encourage everybody to grow their own food, number one, or number two, buy from a farmer's market or from a local CSA. Can't do that, you know, support a small independent retailer that buys organic if you can't do that then of course you're gonna have to support a large chain store that sells organic such as a whole paycheck I mean Whole Foods or local supermarkets actually and you want to check your local supermarkets they often have really good weekly specials on you know one or two organic items which, which could really save you so I generally eat what's on sale um, I've been doing this long enough so that I feel confident doing that because then my diet's always rotated because they always have things on sale and that's always usually what's in season we want to be eating 90% of our diet fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. So 90% of our food that we should be eating should be coming out of the produce section here and hopefully the organic produce section, but it's always better to eat non-organic than to eat processed foods that are not organic, of course. And especially we want to focus on the leafy greens. I find a lot of people into raw foods don't eat enough leafy greens. So things like rainbow chard, dino kale, regular kale, collard greens, and even things like cilantro and parsley are greens in my book. Also, of course, dandelion greens, spinach, and even some lettuce. You know, I don't necessarily include lettuce as a dark leafy green, but they're definitely leaves. And even your beet leaves, you know, those are definitely quite edible. Not too tasty in some instances. But you get a double dip. You get to eat the roots, and then you also get to eat the leaves. I'm not a big fan of eating lots of roots oh and the bok choy is really good and the uh, cabbage here and so you know we want to focus on eating fresh fruits and fresh vegetables in our diet and uh, so that being said you're gonna have to shop a lot more often than you could when you ate conventional diet with canned foods and packaged foods and frozen foods because you know this these fresh fruits and vegetables they expire really fast and uh, you know you always want to be eating the freshest quality so I encourage everybody to grow their own like I do and if you can't definitely you're gonna shop several times a week and only buy as much as you need because you know as you may or may not know the produce in the store is already at least you know a week or several months old by the time you get it other sections I visit the natural food store the bulk section the raw almonds are not really raw anymore they have been uh, pasteurized so whether they're heat pasteurized or worse, chemically pasteurized, and some nuts like obviously blanched almonds are not raw, and raw cashews have been heat processed, although they're still labeled raw. So also dried fruits I'll look at too sometimes, and the flax seeds, and the pumpkin seeds of course are really good, and the sesame seeds, good also. Let's check out the seaweeds here really quick. So this is the seaweed section, and uh, some of the seaweeds I like are the uh, wakame, and the, uh, let's see, uh, nori sheets, if you can get them uh, dried and not toasted. And let's see, oh, of course, my favorite seaweed is the dulse here. And also things like the sea palm, uh, sea veggie mix, that's a nice mix. These are all locally grown, actually, and nori, just whole, whole nori, not in nori rolls, but whole nori. And uh, kombu, and that's, that's really good. So uh, let's continue on. Other sections I'll visit are the uh, 
frontier herb and spice. Um, I'll, I'll use occasionally some spices, such as some cayenne powder, or um, maybe cinnamon powder. Uh, curry powder actually is probably one of my favorites actually to use. I um, even have sometimes like doll leaf, and sometimes I'll even have sprouting seeds here. And I uh, usually buy some spices on uh, occasion.